Are you a celebrity? No, but uh, I'm an e-liberty. I'm really big in Japan. Holy shit, it's Crazy Face Girl. Tammy Faye Baker meets Cindy Lauper meets Madonna with baby pink lipstick smeared across mouth after kissing a bowling ball. Big in Japan like chair? No, more like Joan Jett and the Runaways or, or Cheap Trick or Twisted Sister. There's this video of me dancing wildly to George Michael's Faith at the Pyramid Club in the East Village. It got posted on the internet. It went viral. And now I'm really big in Japan. I am also celebrity. I am Diane Brill. Oh, yeah, yeah. Diane Brill in clown makeup, blonde fright wig, caked on mascara, streaming down her cheeks, leopard print bra and dark Jackie O sunglasses covering her black eye. I have stitches in my eyes still, see? I just got out of hospital. Judge says next time he not be so lenient. You're very beautiful, but I am blonder than you. We take selfie with Nathan's hot dogs in background. She whips out an iPhone sheathed in pink leather. Case, the screen is cracked into a myriad of spiderweb frosted fissure lines covered in a suspicious brown staining. Oh, oh, that, that is my blood. I try everything. Bleach, ammonia, alcohol. It no come out. Once blood get into iPhone screen, it never come out. We take selfie. Diane Brill puts all her worldly possessions down on the sidewalk in front of the Shore Hotel and Surf Avenue, and we pose with Nathan's in the background. Meanwhile, Latino biker gang loiters on the park bench in front of the Shore Hotel. Seeing my dilemma, they begin to snicker and guffaw at me and my new girlfriend. They seem to think that this is all so fucking funny, huh? Well, uh, grow up already. Then I notice their colors emblazoned on the back of their black leather motorcycle vest. Now, now what would be a, like a really kick-ass, motherfucking badass name for a Latin outdoor, outlaw biker gang? What do you think? Maybe murderous Mayan maniacs or the Aztec crazy homicides. But no, this Harley gang's logo is... The high standards! The high standards! Who came up with that name? Their marketing department? The suits up in public relations? And they had the brass balls to laugh at me and my new stalker. Remember, when you point the finger of derision, three fingers point right back at your own really lame excuse for a biker gang color. That's when I noticed that Diane Brill has left a thick wad of rolled up 10 and $20 bills on the ground next to her, her hospital pitcher, which is filled with malt liquor. Uh, I, 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 th I think you left your money lying around. You shouldn't do that. You might get lost. Oh, I do that all the time. I'm always losing my money. I'm always spending more money than I have. All my money is in Germany, where I can't get it. Oh, well, I got the same problem. I'm always spending all my money, too. That's because I'm bipolar. Oh, me too! That is my diagnosis also! I bipolar too! That is why my psychiatrist says, but he is wrong! I am not bipolar! I am alcoholic, see? You want drink, maybe? She waves the plastic pitcher of foul smelly booze under my nose. Uh, no thanks, I only drink uh, Red Bull and Coca-Cola. <laughs> Where do you live? West Village. Where is the West Village? Is it in Russia, maybe? No, Manhattan. I go home with you, I give you plow chop. Plow chop? Plowjob? Oh, you mean blowjob! You give me blowjob! Yes, blowjob! I give you blowjob! My English is not so very good. Well, I live with my ex-wife, and I, I don't know if she would be so broad-minded as all that. You got the ex-wife? I got four ex-wives, baby! Oh, no! You got the ex-wives! I cannot go home with you. Maybe they stab me. Let me tell you, honey, my ex-wife Puma Pearl would undoubtedly stab you in a New York fucking minute. Besides, <laughs> if you gave me a blowjob, it might blow your cover, wouldn't it? Oh, yes, I'm an undercover spy. I go play with police whores instead. Police whores? Oh, you mean the mounted police officers. Yes, police whores. Officer, supervisor, I play with your whores. Diane Brill runs out onto Surf Avenue to pet the ponies of the mounted patrol, much to the consternation of the patrolman riding on horseback. 